Crack open your piggy bank. It's time to go back to school shopping. School is almost back in session, which means we have all the details on what you'll need to go back in style. Geometric jewelry to get. Printed Oxford to try on. The return of crimped hair. Hmm. And Kylie and Kendall Jenner give you back to school tips. I'm Leah. And I'm Mary. And this, and this is, is The Hot, Hot List. One of the big accessory trends this fall is geometric jewelry. Whether it's a triangle ring, a square necklace, or you want to go kind of simple, maybe with a little triangle art deco earring, big modern statement necklace, shapes are in. I am loving the statement necklace. I want, that's what I want. The geometric, the diamonds, love it. Right? Well, I yeah. think that it's an awesome way to dress up a school uniform, give yourself a little pop of color, or even on a plain t-shirt and just kind of like take your look to the next level. It's easy, throw it on, out the door. But what do you think? Vintage, modern, subtle, colorful? Let us know your favorite geometric looks in the comments below. We love a smart shoe, and what glasses can do for your face, Oxfords can do for your feet. And we are thrilled because Oxfords are the it shoe for back to school, which is really great because they go with everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, pants, shorts, skirts, dresses, Mary, I mean, is there anything they can't go with? Cute with a sock. Super cute with a sock. H by Hudson has a really great pair that are actually a printed floral, so super, super funky. They're a little expensive, but they're darling. Dolce Vita also has a great pair that are the mini cheetah with the pink sole. I love the pink sole. I think if my sole was a color, it would definitely be neon. Definitely. And then Target also has a great option that's a little bit less expensive, and it's actually the Cole Haan knockoff, mm -hmm. which is super fab, the kind of gray suede. Mm -hmm. Goes with everything. Everything, but also has the pink sole. Wear your Oxfords for the hottest hallway style anyone's ever seen. You may get a double take if you try our new hair trend look, and we are talking about crimped hair. Crimped hair is back, apparently. Yes, it is. Um, it's definitely a hard look to pull off. I'm not so sure that it would be good for me. I sort of, especially my hair length and I have a lot of hair, it would be like pyramid head, but not in the Lady Gaga good way. Not in the good way. No. And I don't know if I could really pull it off either. I feel like my hair is kind of an odd length and it's not a lot of it. I don't know. I just, this is a look that... But we've seen tons of pictures of people that are pulling it off. They've done cool kind of uh, updos with it. Or I think if you go super, af like kind of afro and really like rock it out and get yeah. some big hair, it's a good look. This is the trend that it's go big or go home. And do it or don't. Yeah, and we literally mean big, like big hair. Big hair. So what do you think of the modern twist on the retro trend? Give us a tweet at ulocot, hashtag hot list. The buzz around BB cream has been ramping up and it's a must have on most back to school beauty lists. So BB actually stands for Blemish Balm or Beauty Balm, and it's kind of like a four-in-one, which I'm loving. This as says eight-in-one. Okay, mine's four-in-one. That's pretty amazing. So it's like a concealer, foundation, SPF, moisturizer. What else you got going over there? Oh, I've got blurs and perfection, enhances, brightens, adjusts to skin tone, smooths, hydrates, SPF 30 protects, 0% oils, and other heavy ingredients. This is incredible. I'm rocking the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB in light, and I am obsessed, okay? I know. Well, I have Maybelline Dream Fresh. It's pretty awesome in the light, medium, sheer tint, and I'm pretty much obsessed with it. This has saved us a lot of time. I mean, usually in the morning with yeah, my tell routine. Tell me your routine. Okay, so I do the primer. Yes. And then the foundation, and then the concealer, and then if we're on camera, wow. sometimes powder, yes. and then bronzer. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on my poor face. Wow. This just sums it up, basically. I do a tinted moisturizer because I'm really lazy, and I like kind of sheer. But um, I like this because it's sheer, has that same thing, but it has a different kind of coverage and it feels almost creamier than my other makeup. I mean, I love it. You guys can check out my before picture here. And then next I put on the Dream, the Maybelline Dream Fresh and a little bit of bronzer and voila. Well, and a little more than that for my makeup. Here's my before, and we must really love you guys and trust you guys to be showing you our makeup-free faces. I gotta say, this BB cream is amazing and totally did all my fixin' for me in one bottle. Even celebrities have to go back to school, but Kendall and Kylie Jenner are keeping busy to the very last minute. To the very last minute. Yes, we heard a rumor that they're getting their own spin-off show based on keeping up with the Kardashians. Yep. So fabulous, I'll be tuning in. Definitely be watching. Not only just that, they're gracing the back to school issue of Seventeen Magazine, rocking the plaid and looking super fab. Super fab. And we just found out they've been named fashion contributors for West Coast Seventeen Magazine. Mary, when do these kids find time for homework? In cheerleading practice. 
That's a lot for a 14 and a 16 year old, but as Kendall says, Kylie brings out the best in her. Just like you for me, Aw, <gasps> oh, you too. That's it for our hot list countdown. Au revoir, everyone. Check out fabulousonabudget.com for some of our great DIY projects and go to Eula Cot all week long for all of your back to school needs. Bye, see you next time. Bye.